Hey Biscuits, welcome back to the Wholesome Feed. So I thought, hey, this month is going to be Valentine's Day. And my son is having a particularly hard time with the whole Christmas is over business. He's a little, he's a little sad about this. And so I thought I would do more fun things this year for Valentine's Day. Because um, he's four now, so he's kind of getting big enough to really enjoy it. And I thought it would be so much fun to do a countdown box for Valentine's Day which is kind of like a self-made advent calendar for, you know, the days leading up, 14 days leading up to Valentine's Day. Um, I went to Dollar Tree because I just wanted little, little tiny things that I thought he would enjoy without spending a whole giant bundle. So this is what I ended up with. I got a little box that opens up. It's a little mailbox. So it tells you that you have treats in there. It opens up and it's got 14 different goodies in there that he can take out and he has to take them out, you know, blindly reach in and he gets a little treat, a little surprise every day leading up to Valentine's Day. And I just think that that is so much fun. Uh, my son is going to love it and it's going to kind of help, you know, the winter indoor blues where he's just a little, is it still winter? I want to go outside. Why is it cold? It's not Christmas. I think this is really helpful for that. So I'm going to show you what's inside. And then I'm going to talk more about an advent calendar for Valentine's Day. Wait, hold on, let me make a look at the mouth. Day. <laughs> so I got little tubes with a little heart on top of bubbles, and my son loves these. So on the rare sunny day that we get, we can go outside, we can blow bubbles, even if it's cold. And this is small, so we aren't going to be outside for too long. Because, it, you know, this time of year it can be chilly. But this is wonderful year-round, you know. He loves things that are fun. And then I also got a whole bag of these fun little um, berry and fruit flavored hearts. Let me see if I can get that to focus for you. So they have different flavors and it's not too much candy, right? I don't want to give them an entire full size bag of Reese's Pieces or something, right? That's just going to be crack sitter. Um, so instead I got all of these and so you know you can have a few a day. These are a bit mini candies probably for a four-year-old so I'll probably take a few once I open them for him each day. Um, but it was the smallest amount I could find. So I got a couple of those and then I also got these fun little stamps. This one says sweet. Isn't that fun? I think it is. And he loves these things. He saw me buy these. He was so excited about them. He didn't know what they were for. This one is, I heart you. I heart you, Biscuits. Have I said that enough? I so appreciate you subscribing to the channel and being a part of this family. Whoops. The card got too full. I cleared off the card. Now I'm back. No, I so appreciate you being a part of this Wholesome Feed family. It is lovely to have this community for gentle parenting for mamas and daddies about you know all of the facets that go into parenthood which is entertaining our kids taking care of them breastfeeding our children making sure that their emotional well-being is taken care of along with our emotional well-being you know especially as mamas right so much of a family's weight lays on our shoulders and that can be joyous and happy and it is a beautiful gift to have a family but if we don't take care of ourselves and do the self-care steps that we need it's really hard then to you know take care of work and children and spouses and family members and friends and have a full life if we're going to take care of ourselves too so thank you so much for subscribing to the wholesome feed and being a part of this this little family it's wonderful okay back to our countdown oh yeah but i really like these and i think that these are going to be a fun little game for him and can we just appreciate you know it was a buck for multiples of these I think that's lovely. So I got him stamps. I got him the bubble, oh, hello bubble wand. Oh, hello candy. And then I also got him fun little spotty balloon. So it's a yellow balloon. And I thought this would just be cheery and fun and we'll blow it up one day and we'll kick it around the house and just have fun with it, right? Something unexpected. I also have back in here um, some chocolate. Uh oh, it dropped out. Does that, does that mean I get to eat this next one? Come on, I bought a whole bag. You know where the rest of them went. <laughs> I bought several little chocolate hearts, and he's gonna love these, right? They have a little foil oh, ASMR moment. 
you're welcome. <laughs> um, he's gonna enjoy, you know, unwrapping these, having little chocolate treats, so one a day. So he gets one of these each day for the 14 days leading up to and on Valentine's Day. And I kind of stacked them, tiered them back so that he would kind of naturally get certain things basically depending on what he's grabbing. So I'm just putting these back there. And I think that this is so much fun because it gives us mamas something to do with our little ones. You know, as kind of a letdown from Christmas occurs um, before we're getting into spring and flowers. Candy's in. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I love coming up with good ways to entertain my son that doesn't cost a bundle, right? These were all dollar store items. Um, so it's got, you know, four or five dollars worth of things in there. That's totally doable. And if you have multiple kids, there were plenty of leftovers other than the container. That's a dollar each um, to use. So for maybe six or seven dollars, you could do three, four kids like this for a little advent calendar for Valentine's Day. And I love that. I love finding things that actually work, that are fun and playful and aren't like, I just spent $250 on this. Whoops. Right? That's so easy to do as a mama because you get excited. You're like, oh, they're going to love this. And then you look at your pocketbook and go, maybe I should have budgeted better. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, what are your favorite kind of routines and rituals in February. How do you keep the little ones entertained during kind of a, a cold and overcast month in general um, and keep them all happy and excited and not let them have cabin fever set in because that's always a little scary. <laughs> hey, until next time, thank you so much, like I said earlier, for subscribing. I would love it if you click the link in the description box down below. You just hit more info and click on over to my romance novels that I write. Um, I'm a romance novelist as well as a YouTuber, and I also link on there to my little homeware store of pillows and mugs and mama-approved tote bags that I have designed. Um, it's really wonderful. I love seeing you check those out, and I love getting your messages about how useful they are. Until next time, I will see you all over my Instagram page. Inst Instagram. Wait, I'm going to make my Instagram hashtag? No, my Instagram handle. Haha. -ha, appear. Ready? Roses in the sky. Bonus points if you get that Beatles reference. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm going to see you all over Instagram, all over YouTube, and thank you so much for getting ready for Valentine's Day with me and, you know, having a good silly time because I kind of love being silly about Valentine's Day. I don't know. It's more fun when you have your little family to just love up and be wonderful with and cuddle in during the cold. See y'all around. Forget to check out my romance novels. Yes, that's a good idea. Can you tell I haven't slept in years if my headband's talking? You can. That's okay. It's okay to admit it. Who needs sleep? <laughs> Feel free. I love it. You love it. Go check out the books. I have my wonderful reverse harem sci-fi book out, and I have a lovely, sweet uh, Christmas holiday winter themed one about a shape-shifting reindeer. That's wonderful in this cold weather. I will see you all around. Love you.